Some records of Plan 9. I sold a bunch of books at Chop Suey. Gave a little speech, made fun of Henry Rollins and Glenda. I think my voice is shot, but don't worry, I will deliver the goods as Rob Halford always says. Got any Rob Halford fans out there tonight? I love Rob Halford. Not necessarily in the biblical sense, but. I never noticed that every Judas Priest song is about sodomy. <laughs> Delivering the goods, point of entry. Between the hammer and the anvil. What's he talking about there? I prefer to be the hammer. We have a special treat. We have a buddy, young punk rock guitarist. All the way from North Carolina gonna join us on this one. He is the Charter President of the Tooling for Rainness Association, future Tooling for Rainness Association of America. This one goes out to all of you that are trying to get in touch with their feminine side tonight. It's called Tooling for Rainness! years old and they still want circles around their sorry ass. If you want to listen to the jockstrap heroes, go right ahead. I've got no time for that new punk. The riverboat gamblers can suck my hemorrhoid laden ass. And speaking of my hemorrhoids,
want about that godforsaken shithole. We still pump on some of the best fucking bands in the land, that's right. This, this guy over here just got out of Rikers, do it 15 for crimes against the three-toed sloth. Give it up for Harry Pitts, Latini. Hi. Show us your I love kittens face. And over here, this guy. This guy. It's just fucked up with a capital F. I found him wandering the cold and lonely streets of the Motor City one January night, carrying nothing but a beat up Fender jazz bass and a copy of the first Montrose album, that's right. I said, hey, hey there, Foxy. Uh-oh, I laughed. Anyway. Give it up for Green Sack Cobretti. And this guy, the hardest hitting skin beater I've ever fucking had. Yeah. 
He works in a slaughterhouse in the worst neighborhood in Detroit. He runs the sledgehammer machine. Give it up for Swarthy Bunglang Franklin. You girls want to know why they call him Bun Length, right? Oh, anyway, my name is Tesco V. You know me. You can also call me better than Henry Rollins. You can call me anything you want. But here I am in the flesh, a 55-year-old man playing punk rock. Straight up in a dirty glass, old school for your listening enjoyment. That's right. I got a brand new book out. It's called Touch and Go. Where's my blushing bride of 28 years? Raise your hand, Gerda Gompers. There she is. If you spend $100, she will show you her milk wagons. That's right. And let me tell you, they're still giving milk after all these years. You ever sucked on a lactating tip just as you were getting ready to shoot your goo? Pretty fucking choice. Oh. That's right. Anyway, I digress. In the wintertime, it's not cold enough for me in Michigan, so I go to the North Pole. I grab my Louisville Slugger. I head out to the polar ice cap. Because I grew up baby seal! <laughs> Tracy Lords, that time in the book, Polar Bears. It's like a stigmata, it just bleeds randomly. Even though she has the cue balls and tube sock tits, I still love Tracy. Masturbate once a day. What? Oh, she's from around here, really? Wow. Anyway, speaking of that, let's move from masturbation to alcoholism. Because yeah. every night I come home from my lame ass fucking job because you're not buying enough of my fucking records. God damn you. I mean that in only the nicest way. I curl into my dirty, stinky, lazy boy. Fire up a Lucky Strike non-filter lung torpedo, because filters are for pussies. I call into a bottle of Bombay Sapphire and pickle my soul. This is a gangrene song called alcohol. Yeah, yeah. 
drove by Washington, D.C. today and all saluted our nation's capital as we drove by. So let's go fucking play Richmond. Thanks to Sean and his staff here for having us. Yeah. Fucking Monday night. You blow all the other cities on the tour right off the map. It's true, it's true. It's right. Let them in free and they'll drink like fishes. Like this alcohol sodden drug bag in the front row right here. That's right. You guys got titty bars in Richmond? Kind of. It's a mixed reaction. You know, you know what turns me on? You know what turns me on? Reality. I like the older broads. Full figure. Got cellulite dimples on their backs. Like somebody hit her with a bag of nickels. I want the big, phony, inflatable tits. Bigger than my head. When I die, I want to be beaten to death by one of those girls with the gigantic orbs. Till I lose consciousness and then die. You know what? I don't like the skinny girls in the magazines. I don't want a young snapper where I have to beg. I want an old broad with a dead egg. This song is called Big Boom Bonanza! Smelled like poop. 
He fucked his brother on stage. Who fucks their own brother in the bar? Really? That's just wrong on many levels. I know, but we love Gigi. We love him, and that's all I'm going to talk about. Because this song is called Two Down! Two to go! Two down, 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 two down! when I'm talking, and when I put the mic in your face, you don't fucking grab it. I love you. He does, not huh? You're much cooler than the Crow Magnum masks. Anyway, who wants the spam javelin after the show? I think this girl does. Yeah. You want to ride the baloney pony, don't you, baby? With me wearing this head bucket? Oh. Get to the bottom of something and it won't be a bad sale, I can tell you that right now. I want to talk about the handicap for a moment. And there's one right there. <laughs> that guy's fucked up. In 1982, I wrote a song about people like him. I smoked a lot of pot and I said, What's the most offensive thing I could write? And it was Cripple Children Sock! Costa Rica. The two things that I didn't like down there was the fucking hippies, the goddamn motherfucking French people suck! <laughs> And I know that double junkie sword wiped out of
Oh. Hey, we got any Satan worshipers out there tonight? Yeah. I want to talk about the devil. The devil. Where's my banner? Oh. You do realize that you're going to hell because you came to see me tonight. Okay? We knew that. What's my point? This is my point. Harsh but true, boys and girls. I was raised in a strict Dutch reformed family. I had religion shoved down my throat and I barfed it back up. Ooh. But I'm quite serious. Organized religion is a piece of walking shit responsible for more deaths than all the wars put together. And when you're feeling like you got don't got a fucking friend in the world, you still got one. Cause Satan is real. <laughs> Tesco, the stand-up comedian, let's spring into action immediately. You guys know what a holy diver is? So when you get to the motel, take the Gideon Bible out and take a dump on it. That's right. And then you stay there for the night. You know what the stranger is, right? The strangers, when you sit on your hand for 15 minutes till it falls asleep and then you jack off with it. Works for me. You still can't beat the Cleveland Steamer, though. I did that to this guy last night, didn't I? That's when you poop on, 
You, your, your mate's chest and you grind, you steamroll it in with your buttocks. It was the best <laughs> Cleveland steamer I've ever had. 1986, where were you? You weren't born yet. He was three. You were just, you were swimming around in your daddy's egg bag. But I was writing some hit music with some guys from Minor Threat. This song is called Rock and Roll, chugging up straight up your ass! 